Okay, now in the background there's a bit of Black Ops 2 gameplay, so enjoy that while you can, because I'm literally running out of things on my hard drive. Yeah, it's ironic really, but I did a video, as you know, a couple of days ago where I said, look, I think I may possibly have a lag fix that will help your connections out. And it kind of worked for me, and that was, as I said, to go into your settings and uh, basically reboot your system, give it a bit of a clean out, and, and there we go, start again. Now... The response I got off that video was quite decent, really, um, even for the people who said it wasn't working. Still kind of turned around to me and said, you know, thanks for the uh, thanks for the advice, but, you know, no thanks for me. I think it's a bit of a placebo effect. And then, on the other hand, there were some people who came back and says, oh, my God, you know, I just managed to get my first 22 for 1 gameplay. Thank you for that. You know, you've really helped out. So that, that was good feedback. I was really pleased about that. And I did, uh, it did leave me with a warm, fuzzy feeling in the cockles of my heart. <laughs> But, for me, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's been going on. I don't understand it. And it's quite frustrating because on my Apocalypse account that I set up for my subs, I've had one or two gameplays with a gentleman on there, and I've literally just looked like a, a div every time I've been playing because, I don't know, I just can't play. I'm just getting my ass kicked. So, it's unusual as well because we're both running on the same, very similar kinds of internet, same service providers, and he's doing not too bad. Still suffering from lag and... When I came off, I thought, do you know what, I'm going to do something a little bit profound and extreme. I'm going to speed up my internet again. So I phoned up my provider. This was simply for the fact that I wanted to speed up the process of uploads. Because obviously when I'm uploading, you know, a 10 minute video can take about 25 minutes. So I thought, well, considering once upon a time I used to run on 100 meg, now I'm running on 30. I kind of wouldn't mind evening it out somewhere in the middle. So I asked them to bump me up to 60 absolutely fine within about 10 minutes that was done everything cleared and rebooted itself and then i tried to play some black ops 2 and nearly threw my controller through the window because i suddenly realized that it doesn't help <laughs> having really fast internet is now actually worse than ever and the weird thing is i went and played some modern warfare 3 afterwards and that wasn't too bad i, was, I kind of enjoyed that a few frustrating moments but yeah, I was very annoyed with how Black Ops 2 is playing now. I, I will still strive to put it on and, and have a go and try different things and see if I can master the secret that is the lag compensation fix. I will keep working at it. So the realism of it is I just literally need a bit of time out. Um, you'll see from the last video I did, I uploaded some Black Ops 1 and I managed to pull in a 58 for 1 gameplay. It was my first game I've played in. God, I don't know how long. It's been a while since I played Black Ops 1, so that was a, that was a pleasant welcome back. And it's been kind of like that ever since. I've uh, I've been getting some seriously silly KDs, like 50 plus KDs, which <laughs> which is nice. So yeah, if you're happy with me uploading those, then please let me know. If you don't want me to, then I shall just stick to the Black Ops 2 and suffer at the mercy of your pleasures. Thank you very much. Now, what I really wanted to touch on today was something that, I don't know, kind of struck me when I look at a lot of these gameplays and when things do go well. Like I started thinking about something and I thought something is missing from this game. I'm having these games where I'm getting swarms and dogs and oh yeah, you know, you can see the kill feed and it's just dominated by yourself and it's all very pleasant. However, for me, there's something missing and I think what it is, is the beloved nuke or Moab, that kind of end game results, that one thing that defines your sort of run of good fortune always comes out with a prize at the end and it's one prize and one prize only it's not a continuation of them unless you're lucky enough to get two or three and i really miss that you know i love the introduction of the nuke in modern warfare 2 i thought it was groundbreaking and epic and it was something we hadn't seen before and it it gave you something to try and fight for you know i mean unless you were a booster and you threw the tack inserts down and went with the headshots then it was a bit cheap but if you wanted to seriously go for that nuke then it was it was kind of exciting to do now obviously when black ops 1 came out the big thing was We've took away the nuke, it's gone. So that was like, right, okay then, what have you got instead for us? It was nothing really, but at the same time, you know, it was a good game and everything else. Then when Modern Warfare 3 came back, obviously we had the Moab in there, which was a kind of secret thing that, I don't know who discovered that, but all of a sudden there's this 25 kill prize which blows everybody on the entire team up. But the difference is you can carry on with the gameplay. Now I think for me this is the thing with going back to Modern Warfare 3 is that I suddenly had that burning desire to go out and hunt that Moab again, you know? Even though I've had dozens and dozens, it didn't matter, that itch was there to get that end game result and there was that intensity of you're just almost on your last legs and you survive and then you die and you think, oh I've got to go back and start again. 
I want to get that again. I want that feeling again, and I really hope they do for the next Call of Duty instalment at an endgame resort. It's an Infinity War title, so maybe they will incorporate it again, but I don't know. Um, I did do a video for Yosh uh, Reloaded channel, I don't know if you've been over there and had a look, but that is talking about a rumour that is going around the circuit that there's going to be a three-tier system again of the three, five and seven score streaks. Back to basics with Call of Duty 4. So if you want to go over and have a look at that, you're quite welcome to. But in the meantime, yeah, have a think about it. What would you think? Would you like to see the Nuke Maker return or maybe just the simple Moab? Who knows? I'll see you later, guys. Much love. Apocalypse done.